All right, straight back in, right? Let's go. What was I doing? Oh yeah, gun problems. I guess I don't need this anymore, right? I have to go get bullets from Bullet Town. Maybe through here, this looks likely. Oh, look at this madhouse. Ah, oh, I had another thought. I was thinking of something, but it slipped right out of my skull. Are we still making bullets? We're out of gunpowder. We're out of saline water? Didn't I make a generator for this at some point? Oh, it's only coming here last. Alright. I'm afraid I can't support this anymore. And I have means of making more now. Especially now I have uh, granite just, you know, fallen from the sky. Not granite, uh, gravel. Gravel, jeez. Alright, so let's do the thing, right? See if we can get all of this over here. We're gonna need a little faster belt, please. I'm gonna need all of you to speed up. I'm gonna need lots of ammo pronto, because I have to go out and put out more boundaries. There's more little speed bumps. Speed bumps is what I decided to call them. So that the biters, it preserves the space against the biters hopefully buying me more time to get up to the point where I can push around behemoths. Because we're right on the edge of behemoths, right? I swear I have to be. I should probably check on that. But, like, no. So, let's go this way. I mean, I keep going over and looking at the hives, and it keeps not saying behemoth. And I keep to have to assume that any second now there's going to be a behemoth there just saying, Hey, hope you got the damage. Uh, and right now I don't. I, I actually don't have that damage. Um, I'm afraid I will, I will disappoint that behemoth. This is... This is an issue here. Well, I guess this isn't specifically an ash generator. So it's not so much an issue as a solution. Uh, interesting. Are we starting to actually send a We are. We're starting to send ash up into processing again. I wonder what I should make of that. At this point, the factory is so complex. Uh, we are uh, definitely at Adeptus Mechanicus level. I am not sure how best to serve the factory. Except I know it needs borax. Here, I don't know what this does. I fear it. We will worm our way this way. We'll get rid of that. That was from ye olden times. God, I love belts. This just just makes me happy on a fundamental level. It looks horrible. It is horrible. But God, I love belts. So we gotta come through here, right? Oh, better sniff this before I get some product on it. Factorio is such an aesthetic game. Everyone should play Factorio. It builds problem solving skills. It teaches about pressure. It rewards thinking ahead and a little math here and there. Uh, you occasionally screw up and have to start over. That's always fun, right? Alright, so down here, down here, down there. Make some more of these, right? Teaches time management skills. What am I almost short on? Oh, I'm almost out of uh, circuitry, right? Yeah, let's find out. Yeah, I need more circuit boards. All right, this is a solved problem now, yeah? So maybe by the beginning of the next play session, I will have enough piercing bullets to go make another speed bump. Also, I have, well, well, 
I should put personal circuitry down south. Just where everything else personal is. There's quite a lot of small, uh, simple circuits. Uh, I gotta get rid of some of this stuff in my inventory. How am I doing on steel? Just fine. How am I doing on this stuff? Just fine. Put that there, right there. Put that there, right there. Put that there, right there. Don't know what to do with that sand right now. Oh. Can I keep... One day I will stop handcrafting, and all these things will stop teleporting into my inventory. Anything else I should really care about at the moment? Yeah, maybe. Alright, so that was step one of what I was doing. Ooh, look at this. Look at it flow in. Yes. Yes, ammunition. Yes. You know exactly what I like. Alright, so, borax. This is borax right here, right? On the minimap, right there. Go down there. This is Nexalit, which will never, ever, ever be mined. Even though the Digosauruses are so cute. This is all steam generation. And it looks like it's probably not enough. I worried about this, right? Okay, I worry about that. I gotta do something about that. Are you waiting for something? Yeah. Since I... <sighs> okay, stop. Stop. High pressure steam turbine. This only works on high pressure steam, yeah? But it makes just amazing, amazing efficiency. High pressure steam turbine. It's almost there. I just need to make some gearboxes. That's fish. Fish is next. Good to know. Um, anyway. I just... No, that's not what I need. Can I just click on a finished one? No, doesn't look like it. I can't make any of these fancy new things. Well, centrifuge and intimidate drill. None of those are interesting. Uh, what's this? Uh, I really wonder about this. Maybe I should make some gearboxes just to see what happens. Um, yeah, gearboxes. Anyway, I need fish oil for that. Oh, and I, yeah, and I can put robots. Where are my robots? If I wanted robots. Bot. Right there. Pie bots. Those need gear belt, uh, gear boxes, and batteries, and all sorts of and fish oil. Needs unobtainium. So, borax. Before I got derailed there, borax. It's over here. I explicitly did not build on it because I knew this day would come where I had to go see about the borax. Check my pollution cloud, right? Turrets, you are not longer necessary. Pollution cloud is completely under control. Alright, so borax. How do I get you out of the ground, borax? It needs sin gas, right? So, I have this. Nope. Um, just a normal mining drill, maybe? That seems so unlikely. Maybe I have to build a borax drill. And, boop. Of course not. What is used? How do I figure this out? Ah, uh, borax. Borax. Ah, uh, product of... Borax? Raw borax. So borax reserve. Huh. How do I get... Do I have to use drill heads? And drilling fluid? But I can't do that yet. I don't have a, access to a ground borer. Um, how do I get borax out of the ground? It's not a mining drill. This is kind of a failing that it's not telling me. It's not a fluid mining drill. It's for syngas, and that is fluid mining. Um, so how do I do this? Uh, borax? No. Does it say anything? Does this help anywhere? 
Doesn't look like it helps anywhere. Good. G good. All right. Um. Yeah. Pressurized steam. Yeah. All right. This I have to try to remember, but not right now. How do I mine borax? What are other ways to mine? Is there something in my inventory? Borax. What's this? Borax recipe? No. Okay, let's take a look at here. It'll probably tell me here, right? Borax. Alright, so we got diborane, boricic acid, boron trioxide. Second step in the borax line is to make muddy sludge. Um, this doesn't help me at all. Uh, that's a lot of electrolyzers. High pressure furnace. How do I get raw borax? Is this another Digosaurus thing? Because that's the, uh, Diga, Dig, 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 uh, Digosaurus, Dig site. I bet you this is another dig site. That's why it's so large. All right. Um, this would be unfortunate if true, because I will have to make uh, still more digasauri, which is a little difficult. But I guess I'll just strip a couple out from Nexalit while that happens, so that I keep moving. I'll have to drag the meat wagon over. That's unfortunate. You still do still going alright over here? Digga digga digga. Yeah, digga dig dig. Yeah, I earned that meat. So we must now start thinking about uh, raw borax. Alright, so this is almost certainly coming from the dig site. It's that right level. But it requires syngas. No, wait. From the reserve, it requires syngas. So, so, oh, okay. Because there's no ore patch here. If I was mining from a borax reserve, like, no. No. Well, you know what I mean, right? It'd be around here somewhere. No. No. Um, I could use Syngas to get it. However, uh, I don't have that tech or the area uh, available to me. So that's not happening, right? So, that means I have to do it from the field like I have right now. And that's what's happening. Raw borax. And then after that, we do this in a washer, and we get more muddy sludge. Again, this is a sign of uh, uh, Digosaurus's. All right, Digosaurus, is that what we do here? Where are you, Digosaurus? Him, right there. Yeah, yeah, I called it. All right, so like this. Um, bam. All right, so. Same rules as before. Got it. Sue. So, I will solve it exactly like I did before. So, I need to go get a whole bunch of moss. <laughs> We're gonna have to do this whole thing again, right? Because I have to make more Digasauri. Alright, warehouse goes right there. All worldly possessions into the warehouse. Oh, look at this backup of moss. What are you... Oh, because the logs got here. The logs. Those terrible logs I let in. Speaking of which, I have some seeds. Those should definitely get put to use right here. Okay, so seedlings production has fallen because I choked the belt with logs. Um, this is good because now I have moss. 
but it is bad because I don't have those seedlings. So I have to keep an eye on that, right? That's that's a yes. You don't have to say yes. I know the answer is yes. So is it happening down here too? Well, there's... Everything's moving. The moss isn't backing up, so maybe not. Alright, we got some moss. So this, things are going fine here, it looks like. Because there's no... It's in the seed factory line. Ooh. Ooh, I gotta keep an eye on that. I thought it was gonna be no problem, and then, hey, 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 it's a problem. Anyway, let's go up past Scienceville. Uh, and manually feed in a whole lot of this stuff. Not that. Oh, I need more boxes. I need to put in the right, the right one. Here, get in there. I need to bring more petri dishes over. I'm gonna get sick of doing this manually eventually. Uh, I also have to make more bio containers because. Uh, obviously, I'm going to have to make uh, more gene samples, because obviously I need more Digosauri. That's fine. I will, I will make this work. There. You are another confusing... I still don't have power for that. Real great. I don't think... Maybe I have enough to start another Digosaurus. Here, come with me. What I need right now is a washer. Just one. Then an electro. No, let's get some of these now. Electrolyzer. Oh, electric arc furnace. That's interesting. Huge electricity consumer. Yes, it is. Wow. Wow, that's a lot of electricity. Um, it'll be trivial for me eventually, right? But today it's not. Today that's very far from trivial. And here we've got, just need more bio samples. Right over here. Shove you in. You are not ready to make a Digosaurus. Um, and I need to make a lot of bio samples. Bio containers. <sighs> now I need more titanium. Can't say I'm entirely pleased with the situation right now, but there isn't a lot I can do about it. So down we go. Probably made a mistake putting all the personal boxes this far away, but it is where everything comes to a central point, so there has that going for it. Gotta get this off here. <sighs> Why don't I treat myself right? So we need titanium, yeah? Right there. Probably a bit more than I would normally take. I need some iron. Get that. Get those logs off there. I don't know where you're going. Is this ash? Oh, this is probably a seedling line, and it probably has nothing going in because seedling was way down. Good to know. Actually, I'd be happier if I'd never known anything about that. Ignorance is, in fact, bliss. All right, so I need personal circuitry. Yes? So we'll drag circuits further over. We're going to need this eventually. So let's do it. Oh, I should have looked at the thing I made. Um, right here. Right there. And a slow one. I still don't need that many. That many is good. Uh, I need more steel boxes. Now I need more steel, and it's not down here. Ha ha, good joke. Speaking of not good jokes, though, is this. We're out of coal oven gas, huh? That is, in fact, 
not a good joke. So, uh, see if there's a methane line around here. Snag that. Logs on a belt. I need steel. I need to find local methane. But there's probably not any of that, huh? Logs. I'm getting seeds in here too. Ugh. I can get rid of those right now. There. Enjoy your seeds. Um, I was going to get steel after going all the way down there. That's fine. Let's go this way. I drag myself all the way up here to steel production. Eventually that line will go down there too. So, And aluminum. Maybe I should just get it over with. That's a lot of bullets already. It's going to town on this. That is what I wanted to see. I like in seeing enthusiasm. Alright, we're making lots of bio samples. I think yeah, this is going full tilt. I have no need to increase that, but I will. Don't you worry. I will increase that production. Now I shouldn't be going this way, I should be going south. Lost in my own factory. Yep. Own again. Own seaweed backing up again. I'm gonna have to compost that. I can actually do that now, I think. No, I went too far. Two digosauruses. You are coming with me. Do they just come in and vanish? Oh, they just never come out again. Alright. So they finish their job and leave. Um, so we have to take the meat wagon. And we have to get it over to the borax. I'm so glad I cited the Varrock stuff here. Uh, I'm glad the Varrocks never figured it out. I don't think I'd be able to look in their eyes when, you know... I don't suppose you can call a Varrock Bessie or something. I'm like... <laughs> and say, well, you're just going to turn into Digosaurus food. It's just not a conversation you ever want to have. Um, I feel like I should sort this. I feel like that's probably will slightly prolong the suffering somewhere. And that's a good thing. Over here, over here, and over here. I want to use grenades, and I will. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I want to use grenades, and I will. <laughs> ah, I'm such a complex creature. Alright, yeah, yep. Right there. Pristine primeval forest versus grenade and expediency. All right, right here. Come along. Have a pair of digosauri. Have some meat. What's the? Uh... What you waiting for, boys? Disabled by script. Wow. No mineable resources. What? What do you mean? What do you mean, no mineable resources? You telling me I drug this all the way out here for nothing? <sighs> okay. I, in fact, dug this all. I made it. I built it. I drug it all out here for absolutely nothing. That is kind of irritating, honestly. So, how do I mine borax from the ground? Do I just not? There is no way to do it outside of mining drills, and I have to find a reserve? Oh, come on, guys. It's like that literally the only way? Because, uh... That's not fantastic. Let me put it like that. Alright. More of rock. So, 
Sue, Sue, Sue. Pick up the meat from the belt. Continue to clean up my mess. My slimy, squishy mess. <sighs> that doesn't even smell good. Alright. Okay. Alright. Take the raw meat, throw it back in the pile. Let's try to pretend this didn't happen. Right. So now we still have another problem. How do we get raw borax? Not a fluid mining drill. Not a digosaurus situation. Um, what is it? Seriously, how do I get this stuff out of the ground? It requires five syngas per mining operation. Like antimony drill? Used to mine antimony. That's doesn't help. Say anything about borax anyway? It's like, well, what do I do? I am kind of at a loss here. No, no, burner can't do it. Fluid two can't do it. You know, let's do a fluid one. Oh, is it a crystal mine? Huh. Think so? Well, let's find out. What else? A classifier? No. Glass maker? No. Like, crystal mines don't have any inputs, right? Hmm. Borax? Crystal mine comes out when I say borax. So I guess that's what it is, right? Why else would it pop up when I type in borax? Still irritated. Still irritated. Time to put these digosauruses back to work. <sighs> Probably getting hungry in my backpack. There's nothing worse than a backpack exploding into a cloud of angry lizards. There you go. Back to work, boys. Still utterly adorable. That is by far the best thing I've seen so far in this mod. So come on, my dude. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. And nope, obviously not. So it has to be crystal mine. Not in the least because if I search for borax, 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 it says crystal mine right here. All right. So, I have to say, I am not a huge fan of this that just happened here. But, I will find a way to survive. Let's talk about the borax processing chain, yeah? Because we're probably going to be doing it right here, right? Let's clear out all this. Good. I just blow up my power pole. Nope. Keep throwing. Alright. So we'll do borax processing right here. Nobody saw anything. Alright, so a washer will go here. And this washer will just leave space for two, right? Bam, bam. So this washer right here uh, will do borax washing, right? No? Yeah. So you need water and you output muddy water. And I have both on hand. How, how wonderful. Unironically wonderful. Uh, 
Alright, so I still think this has to come over here and hug this. Pristine forest. I'm gonna get some water around here. That's saline water. We cannot possibly be short of saline water anywhere. Which is a good thing again. Yeah. I will add to the tangle of pipes because that's what I do. Bang. Bang. Done. All right. All you need is some borax, eh? And this is kind of a slow operation. So we're going to go do this. New output, what? New output, regular borax. Can you do this how fast? Pretty fast. So we got some borax, we say. I'm going to do the rest on the other side of this belt. Leave logistic space. All right. Borax. Borax becomes diborane. That's what we need, right? Because diborane makes boric acid. Boric acid becomes boric trioxide. Boric trioxide becomes optical set. And this is what we're heading for. Excuse me. So, we want borax into diborane. We need hydrogen. Oh, this is an issue, eh? Ah, finally. We're going to have to go get a bit of the old hydrogen from somewhere. I don't think we're producing nearly enough up at uh, cracking zone. So I know we're producing some there. All right, borax being produced. And this produces, oh, you need syngas. All right, I can handle that. That is a request I can accommodate. Syngas is, I don't know. Coke oven gas, right? This is the hot stuff. It's keeping this filled, but it's never overflowing. So that's stopping inner metallics from being made. That is a problem I care about, question mark? A problem I have to solve right now, question mark? Because coal oven gas also has the side effect of making Coke, right? No. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it's okay. So refresh my memory. How does one make coal oven gas? That goes from over there. It's over here, maybe? No, those are crushers. This is coke oven gas, of course, not coal oven gas. <sighs> coal oven gas doesn't exist. But warm stone is the only way we can think of to make some hot air. It's the only possible way. Sorry. So really is the only source of coke oven gas up here. This is literally it. And you're held up because you can't vent fast enough? How is this allowed? And this makes 20 a pop. That's not enough. Coke oven gas? Is there any better way to make it? Nope. Just gotta make it right here. Um, yep. I can't believe warm, warmer stone brick is such a thing. It is a thing. Ah. So this isn't going anywhere near fast enough. I need to bring down methane, even though it is making coke, and coke is very important to me. Again, we live in a hell of related rates. Um, I suppose 
I don't actually care that much about this situation. Not enough to get distracted. I need to make more crystal ore mines. Well, first, no. Borax. Just, just think about what I'm doing. Think about what I'm doing. Uh, borax goes into diborane in an electrolyzer. Then I need a new no, electrolyzer. Diborane, I need hydrogen. And that's going to come from this, right? And then that oxygen is going to go over and it's going to be used in the, the Timmy plant. Okay, this works together. So I need a quenching tower for this, especially now that I have a use for the hydrogen. So give me a quenching tower. Uh, no. Uh, quenching tower, and I have an electrolyzer, and that'll get me diborane. Now I need boric acid, another electrolyzer, and now boron trioxide, a high pressure furnace, which I have. So I need another electrolyzer. Electrolyzer, which I need more stone for. How fortunate I look at this right here. Because right over here, right there, is that stone I crave. So electrolyzer, right there. Now I need a quenching tower. Which needs concrete. Not refined concrete. Concrete. I cannot tell you how much this bothers me. I can't use the better material because it explicitly requires the crappier material. Like, what will happen? Will it, will it shatter if actual good concrete is used? Ugh. All right, now we have actual concrete, and I can make the quenching tower. Only one. What do I need now? Iron plates. OK. So on the tail end of that, we need to increase borax. Go just grab a. Well, no, I have to go all the way to the south now. Ah. Oh, we're actually held up on petri dish production. That's the bottleneck. Who would have thought? Anyway, I go through all here, this terrible place, sidestep all this again, dodge all the same problems. Wait. Wait. I know what this is, and no, that's just fine. Okay, never mind. I thought that we were having another log issue. Are we all doing okay? We're not, we're not starved for seeds because of logs, right? No? Good. Alright, so come down here, get a whole ton of this stuff. And come over here, get a whole ton of this stuff. This will make sense eventually, right? Now, I want to make one more. And actually, it's going to make me go get more rock. <laughs> I say. So, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's go get some more rock. Because nothing else can possibly be used. Like, iron ore should be substitutable for just rock. What else is iron ore? One more. Done. All right, so, oh, nice. Creature chamber upgrade finished. Now we have to look at that. We have to actually seriously consider uh, the turd system for unselected. Oh, I still haven't picked that, right? So knowledge transfer. Oh, that does a ton. Use the data array to open source your scientific achievements and others research in the home galaxy. The alien data is revised by the community and returned with high fidelity due to the extra operation energy cost increased dramatically. That's essentially nothing. I don't care. So this Mecha Runzor fighter tank. So everything is just a little better, huh? See if I can find a simple one, right? Oh. Oh, look at this. A lot of it comes back. The 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 samples for making stuff. On one hand, that's great. But 
like are there any things I'm gonna be see that's just making that it's just for starting off right for bootstrapping god there's a lot of stuff so what's the difference here oh it requires so much less Uh, uh, I don't know. And then this is redesign the creature chamber for the Arthur and Brendan Standard Things. Uh, so this is like. I don't know what this does. The ingredients is the require an Arthurian codex. And it does what? I don't understand this one at all. Implanted adaptation of the cellular blueprint for worker creatures such as caravan and digosaurs are not native to this galaxy. The force is designed these creatures to be generalized to function all environments. Use additional DNA samples taken from this plant when constructing these creatures in order to make them more efficient. Speed and health are increased by 35%. Everything takes longer. I get I require fancy digosauruses. Um So what's the difference? It just takes a ton of time. But it's thirty five percent faster. I don't see the difference in the recipe. just takes a lot longer. I don't know what to do. This scares me. I walk away. What was I doing? Uh, borax, right? No, I was going to do um, uh, better oxygen production down in the Timmy area. Got to haul hydrogen up there. What would I even want from these upgrades? This seems like such an enormous choice. And I can't take it back. I don't know what to do. Oh, I was going to look at this, right? Yeah, we're making progress. Totally progress. Get out of my way. Done. Alright, so. This is not what I want. I want up here. And I want the quenching tower, I believe. Like, this is about to be obsolete, right? I'm going to take this here, and you are going to do this. No. Oh, am I... Did I look at it backwards? I think I looked at it backwards. I need the electrolyzer, which is still being made. So I need you to just knock it off for a second. this. 300 water, make hydrogen and oxygen. Now I need the hydrogen. So I no longer need... What do you output? What is even going on here? I muddy sludge in and then I get... Uh, I'm making muddy sludge here and then I'm just regulating the environment to make sure that it is constantly doing this recipe. All right, that's not what we want anymore. This is what we want now. So there's no byproduct. And I'm going to end up with a lot of dirt on my hands. So this has to come with me. Pick this up. Pick that up. This has to come with me. You come with me. Oxygen's still lined up, so that's good. Um... Hmm. I guess we do it this way, even if it is a little awkward. Isn't that just exactly what this base is from beginning to end? Oh, I have almost no pipes. That's terrible. All right, so we got we'll have oxygen for days here, and that's exactly what the Timmy plant needs. Now I have to do something with the hydrogen byproduct, 
which has to go over to Borax land right here. So it just has to ride left, and then I have to find a way to manage the overflow. I guess, like, I could get a gas furnace now. And just turn it into steam. And that's probably the smart thing to do, right? Um, what's the fuel value of just hydrogen? Very poor. Um, so that's not a way out. Trees, stop it. Trees, I warned you. There we go. So much more aesthetic. Doom, boom. Good, 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 good. And now I have to put down an electrolyzer, I think. Where is my electrolyzer? Oh, right there. All right, so we wash a washa. Why aren't we? Why aren't we doing the thing? Oh, because no, I forgot to go get the sin gas. That's what I was doing a while ago. Wow, not smart. I need diborane right here. Yeah, not smart. Ah. Uh, Severe learning disabilities. Can't ADHD. Oh man, I suppose Factorio is just ADHD hell. Anyone who can't concentrate on a single task would just go insane. Literally insane playing this game. Alright, so hydrogen has arrived. Good. Now. Is this going to be enough? Maybe. How fast does this go? Just one more. Okay. And then we have to power it on because, of course, the electrolyzer needs something to electro with. Right there. And then out will come the diborane. In comes the borax. Out comes the diborane. And then it's another electrolyzer, right? right here. And now we make the boric acid, diborane, right here, there. And we'll establish a common line. Do we need anything else? We need water. Where is water? Water, water, everywhere. Oh, look at how I align this. Isn't that fabulous? So we drag this this way, and again, we hope we do not get lost in the hell of related rates, which we will. We absolutely will. All right, now I got to go get more straight pipe. Great. All right, I have to get a hold of sin gas, right? No. So we need, got that, got that, got that, got pork, acid. This has to go to boric, boron trioxide in the furnace with coke. All right, so right here, right? This is boron trioxide. And we have to go get some coke. And I need to go get more straight pipe, of course. Can't forget about that. So, huff, 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 huff. But I have a whole lot of concrete on me I can put to use. Um, how are we doing here? Oh, we're all backed up now. Yeah, I could go out and build some more speed bumps. But I am not going to. I am going to get straight pipe. Speed bumps will be the beginning of the next session, then. I'm not going to 
break right now. Um, and I still need to pipe in sim gas. So I'll get that soon enough, right? I should have coke right over there. Um, not really an excess of coke or anything so luxurious, but definitely some coke. But I guess my priority is finishing this thought. So here I am, right? You'll need some power, of course. Who doesn't just wish for a little more power? With a little more, I could solve all the world's problems. True facts. I have uh, scientific evidence saying as such. So I need some coke and I need some sim gas. Um, coke is right. Here. Now this makes coal. This makes crushed coal. So I might have to draw the coke line from the steel making area over here, down to here, which isn't utter tragedy, but it's inefficient. And I definitely need to make a composter here at the very end of seaweed line. Let's take a look what that is. Compost. Oh, I can just make one. All right. All right. Here. There we go. Yeah, this should be good, right? And then we'll we'll compost all that stuff. Great. Great plan. Syngas now. Syngas is used over here and is made right there. It has no reason whatsoever to intrude southward. So I gotta draw it all the way over then. That's fine. I can do this. Need more of these, eh? Anywho, why even draw it over? Well, well, right here, right? Or I could come up and draw it south. It's probably more thematic, right? This is Syngas, right here. I declare right here, no, no. Leave a lot of space. Give myself space. Give myself room to breathe. Lebenstrom. There we go. There. Keep going, right? I have to get on par with the borax, which is actually quite close. So we have to cut over at the seaweed, essentially. Which I have no problem doing. I get to put more speed bumps in tomorrow. Very much looking forward to that. I enjoy that. I don't know see how anyone can play this game without biters. Um, biters are the opposition. Without opposition, the game does not exist. Um, this is almost certainly not being helpful right here. So, well, well. I guess we live in faith. Because this area has to be repurposed for something. And I knew this was going to happen, so we'll just jump north again. Save me the trouble of rerouting all this stuff later on. That just cloud of meat is creepy. The meat cloud is creepy. Uh, I will go on record for that. This is still too high, so we want to go lower. I guess we don't want to cut across any of this, really. Uh, we want to get right there, but we're right here. So this is unfortunate in the extreme, but we'll make it work. Right there. south again. We'll jump this. Nice. And right here we will use the space currently taken up by the power pole. 
but you will not be dissuaded by the power pole, no matter how much the power pole says it is vital, the power pole can move and will move. Formic acid is building up. This means something at some point. It doesn't mean much right now, so try to dive across. New, right there, right there. Oh, well, well, I want to go right here, right? And I kind of can't. No, I can do it like this, but in a kink. Only I'm not seeing the sin gas icon anymore. That's a bad sign. Alright, dump out the sin gas. It was right up here. Right. In. Okay. Good. 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 Only I have clearly done something bad. So bad. 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 Where did I leave a hole? There, right there, no, no. This is where it failed. Oh, I see what happened there. Okay. Easy fix. We now have sin gas. Over in the borax. Um, up here, up here, and look, we got borax. We actually have far too much borax. I have overreacted in the creation of too many ore miners. Uh, but I'm not going to stop now, obviously. Can't stop now. In too deep. Sin gas, sin gas. Powerize it. Power, 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 power. There we go. Alright, why is there multiple things coming out of this? I kind of like how there's different icons, but I'm also kind of freaked out how there's different icons. I didn't pause it for that, did I? How rude of me. Ah, uh, that was me typing to someone. And I thought I paused it, as I do many, many times in any given video. But apparently I messed it up this time. So, mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa. I want to go not quite here, right? Right here should be my line. New. Right here should be my line. Looking ahead is usually a good idea. Yeah, I can make do with right here. So we will wait until the science has politely passed. The science gets right of way. We want to go here. Got it, got it, got it. 
got it. And then we have to make it over. We can probably jump all of this, which we can. Glorious. I feel bad stealing so much coke, but I know it's all going to back up, so it's going to be fine. And so we have a situation where we have to put coke in. But it's only like catalytic coke. No, I suppose that's wrong. It's one coke for one boric oxide, so... How long does this take? Three seconds? It's enough for one. Uh, and you have to go out. So this is... Uh, boric oxide here. Triborane oxide, something like that. I remember I used to think 2 megawatts was a lot of power. Anyway, it's clear we're going to need a couple more of these, right? So let's go get some high pressure furnaces. Two, please. And I'll stack that up right there. Meanwhile, I have yet another board miner, which is a little too optimistic, I think, that I will ever be able to digest this input. But hey, it's there. This is good, that is good, this is good, that is also good. Slam this guy down. Gonna have to move those power lines. Let's just do it right now, right? We'll move it along this line instead. Then we'll pick up the other line. Yeah. Good. Good. Nice and compact. Nice and clean. I hope I have enough walls uh, when I go back to put down more speed bumps. Alright, so. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Then right here. Then right here. There, then right there, then right there, then right there. Boop, boop. No, wrong button. There we go. Correct button. And we hook you up in serial. Super serial. And we also bless you with power. There. This let's just do some math, right? This makes 500 every two seconds. This makes 200 every three seconds. So this is roughly the right proportions, right? 602 seconds versus, yeah, very roughly the right proportions. This makes 150 diborane every second seconds. This is going to once we run out, right? Yeah, I need a lot more of these to keep this up and running, but this is fine for right now. Anyway, what was I doing? Uh, laboratory instrument. This is our goal. We are on our way to optical set. And we can just make three out of molten glass right now. But of course we're not going to do that. We want hot air. Um, yeah. So we got to go do this. And we're going to move this. This thing that's been causing me problems over here ever since it's shown up. We're just short of aromatics. Looks like it. I have no idea how this factory works. I really don't. So, hot air. So, this hot air recipe, I'm just going to get a regen. One, two, three, four. I'm assuming that I'm going to need more than that. Let's go get some stone. Let's go grab this stone that's right here. Let's walk over it and pick it up. Regen. I'm just assuming this is going to be enough. And this makes 150 hot air every two seconds. In theory, that's going to be more than enough for me. Oh, wait. i got to get off the, the Coke. <laughs> the the uh, Coke oven gas. I have to draw the methane line down, which I believe was fairly close, being over by the steel. I didn't realize it was over here. I still 
Still lots there, ready to go. Super happy about that thing. Um, and I guess I go here, right? And I need to go get more pipe. Good that it runs out right here as opposed to anywhere else. Why haven't I gotten any alarms from anything? Why haven't, why isn't, why is, why is that happening? That's the sign of something being really wrong in the world right there. Um, I kind of got to investigate this immediately, right? So the wood line is quite, quite thin. It's all going to automation science. But, but where is all the wood coming from? Is that because... Right, this is a dead end, and that's clearly working. This is, is it just eating up all this? No, well, there's a lot coming here. Are you working? I feel like I've, I'm missing seep, uh, saplings from somewhere. This is all working. Saplings are clearly coming by, and they're passing by. So we're gonna assume everything up there is working. Always a great idea, right? Let's just assume it's working. Then there's all the wood from down here. This seems rather sparse, right? Okay, no saplings. This is probably the source of my issue. No saplings. Um, all right, so. This is going to be a difficult one to figure out what's going wrong, right? Where in the whole chain are there not enough saplings? Um, yeah. Yeah, I've got questions. I also have a giant composter. I... don't know what to think about this machine. It's huge. I hate it. <laughs> I hate that it's huge. Alright, what are you doing? You just made a whole bunch of compost. Alright. So we've got biomass. What to do with this biomass, I don't know. Anyway, that was a fun little diversion. Where is the sapling problem coming from? Are you making saplings? No, you don't have any moss. Where is your moss coming from? Right here. Are you doing your job? Yes, but you're weird, so you're slow. I understand that. You are doing your job, though. Here. I declare you can do expensive moss. Carbon dioxide is working. Um, do I simply not have enough saplings in rotation? Hmm. Hmm. That's clearly working. There's clearly saplings on that belt. I know I stopped these up here, right? Was that perhaps a terrible mistake? Not over here, over here. I get a feeling I could be chasing this down for a very long time. So maybe I should just stop and just throw down more saplings somewhere. Where was even the, the place? It was on top of here, right? Oh, I ripped it out. I ripped it entirely out right here. That could be contributing to the issue. Here, let's take a look. Um, sapling. Seedling. Yeah, production's, I, well, it just jumped up up here. Is that because that's when I unplugged one? Uh, all right, we have a problem with wood in that we don't have enough of it. I have solutions for that, but we're also, 
uh, sapling poor, especially at the periphery. So I need to take a moment out of my busy, busy schedule and throw down more saplings. This is fine. I can do this. Uh, but for the moment, right now, I got stuff to do. Can I remember what that stuff was? Ooh. Now that's a problem, isn't it? What was I doing that was so, so important? I just got Diboring online. I was making a hot air factory. All right, so this is going to move. All this is going to get out of here. Oh, I was pulling down methane so that I could have more coke oven gas. I, oh, oh, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Deflect, 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 deflect. Back on track. Okay, back on track. And yeah, right here is when I ran out of straight pipe. Okay, okay. Uh, I've got now, I wonder what kind of stack my brain is. It's definitely not first in, first out. It's like first in, comma, confusion. <laughs> uh, we want to go all the way down there. So and this is going to be my main power gas, especially since I can scale it up very easily. Are you making seedlings? You look like you're making seedlings. Is there any way I can convince you to make seedlings faster? We want to come right through here. So we can't do that without doing this. Now we can do that. Boop, 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 boop. And then down. Then still farther down. I swear I will accomplish something this day. Now I gotta get a line over. Um, where is an available line? Oh, we're not even at the main belt yet, but the problem is going to persist. So we're gonna say the line below wood is going to be methane. Thanks. All right, right there. Now I have to drag it all the way down from wherever it is. Where did I leave you? Right there. It feels wrong to intrude on this big open space. It's probably going to need for a cotton gut ranching or something. Laboratory equipment in order to make cotton guts. Cotton guts are pretty far away, aren't they? <laughs> no, nope. do not do that. Okay. All right. Good, 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 good. Now run, take the highway. Impressive reach. Did I run out? I ran out. Go all the way back, all the way back, all the way, all the way, all the way back. You ever get the feeling your base is just too big? But you know, we haven't seen anything yet, have we? It's going to grow so very large before the end. Bulbous and enormous. Okay, here, you. Please take this, these things that keep appearing. Oh, this is when I handcraft something and I have a one-off left, right? I only need one small part, but I make them in pairs, so one just appears in my inventory. That's unfortunate. But, you know, I've suffered under worse conditions. Okay, I've been here before. So right here, right here, move the methane over. Move the methane. Nope. Okay, okay, okay. And we're 
going to use the coal gas line. Coke oven gas line. Fortunately, oh, we can sneak across, can't we? It's in the shadow of this. In the shadow, and it even lines up. Wait, can I purge you because there's so little? Yeah. Glad that happens like that. All right, spring to life. 12 to second cons uh, consumption. Yeah, nice. Um, pure methane. We've got quite a backup here. All right, so um, this is getting OK. And the next problem is, as I said, um, hot air factory, where I produce political hot tanks. Yeah, sure. That's a good idea. Actually, I should just straight up right into this wall. So here we are, back here. Let's talk about hot air. Just made a whole bunch of these. Where is ya? Where, where'd you go? And we're gonna have to do some math. And we're gonna need wood to fire this. Ooh, that's gonna be a problem. Time to do some math. So, math time, right? So this makes five stone bricks in eight seconds. And this needs only two seconds to strip the heat out of them. So it's just a matter of adding more and more warm bricks, right? It's almost like it's um, belting time, which is going to be the definitive factor here. So I will just do that, right? I'm going to rip this down. Take all this somewhere else. Oh, I have to pick up the coke line too, the coke gas line. Now the only problem with this go somewhere else theory or plan is that I need to one belt the hot air up again and two get the proper temperature coke gas down because I can only use this. I need kind of a block of space. Not there. So I guess over, no, this is for, it's kind of reserved over here. Hmm. Because it's got to go down and then come back up again. Because it, you, I'm using it to power the glass works. So, it's made up here, which is a travesty. It comes down here. Maybe the hot air line goes, and then it needs to be used down here and up here. So we're moving the hot air processing area over here. So this is open space, true. But how do I, I gotta get the hot gas over here and then cold gas goes over here. It has to be vented somehow. Mm. I wish I could just pave over this, right? Is that... It's making coke, which is the, the real thing up here, right? Yeah. Oh, and we're all backed up on coke, which is curious, right? Very curious. Are we just not consuming any steel anywhere? Are we lead bound? No. We're not making anything with steel. How is this possible? Hmm. Steel is not being made because of no fuel of no heat, because of no wood. Alright, I have to promote this problem to a major, major issue. Um, let's take a look at wood. Is 
It's like production is outstripping consumption. How is this possible? Um, yeah, wood goes in, wood is not going in. Oh, that could have been me right there. That could have been me who did that. Um, all right, not a major, major issue, but still, um, that didn't happen. That definitely didn't happen. And if anyone claims that it did happen, they are lying to you. Anyway, uh, we need to get coal gas, which is currently getting down here. I guess I go right north of the rock farms. No, I don't want to use that space, but I think I have to. All right, I do it. It's all just provisional anyway, right? Can we do this all again someday, right? We're not making any pie science, right? And that's great, right? It's perfect. What's our problem? The problem's here. The problem's petri dishes. Why no petri dishes? Because no power. Why no power? Uh, because no coal oven gas, right? Why no coal oven gas? Because there was no coke being consumed. Why no coke being consumed? Because steel had stopped. Uh, also, I kind of clipped it, didn't I? Alright, so that was also my fault. So anyway, move fast. Just move fast. We need more hot air. And it's time to use this area down here. Just, just... Um, we also have to look ahead. And I can't look ahead. Alright, fine. Don't look anywhere. Don't look at it. It's fine. Um... You, right here. We are going to make... Uh, no, one burner. One burner to, fu to fuel them all. Right? Uh, more. More of them. There. Hot air factory. You are a brick warmer. No. That's really uncomfortably close. Alright, drop what I'm doing. ADHD uh, kicking right in. So, run this way, run this way, run this way. I have a solution, right? This is close. We're going right over there. Right over there, right over there, right over there, right over there. I can actually solve this problem. I have the power. Uh, just all of you come with me. Not all of you. The rest of you stay here. I'm going to try to do this one on foot, right? Got some grenades. Got some turrets. We'll set up a uh, speed bump out here. Save. Combat ridicule on. Hopefully I can get out here while they're still forming the uh, base. I can keep it small for wiping out later. Okay, where did they plop themselves down? There they are. Alright, so, let's see if I can get this in time. Probably not if I do it smart, right? So let's not do it smart. Um, guys will not, will not, repeat, will not be able to settle here. Alright, just stop now, right? Right there, right there. Right here, right here. Save, save. Grenades, get their attention. Hey, hey buddies. Okay, that was a colonization party we just knocked out. We just got rid of an entire base without doing anything. Uh, we are to be congratulated. Oh, don't stand right there. Uh, pull it all up now. 
great work. No, really, that was great work. Killing a base, uprooting a base before it even starts, that is ideal. Now I know I don't have wall material on me, but I do have enough. Looks like maybe they started a base right there. Those are the worms. No. Uh, where is that turret? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I suppose that technically is twelve right there, but all right. Now we do this like we usually do. I get the feeling that this wall would have held that off just fine. Possibly with casualties, but that's not a huge problem for me. All right, so you put down most of the speed bump. That was good. That was good reaction time. Now I have to haul myself all the way back unload this dross of war I have in my possession right now and try to find a way to get on with the game, okay? So, you go there. Let's chuck all of this piercing ammo back in here. I've got... I've got a lot of just normal ammunition in my possession should definitely find its way out of my possession. This in there. This in there. Good. Good. So, good, I think. I seem to be using a lot of iron right now. Which is good, I think. What was I even doing? I was down in the rock farm. I was trying to set up greater hot gas, hot air, because the only way we know how to make hot air is to use coke oven gas. There is no other way. Science has tried and failed. There is no other way to possibly, possibly, possibly heat air. It just can't be done. It cannot be done. Okay, so this is right here. This possibly doesn't need to be like, yeah, it doesn't have any fire right there. All right, so step the first, find wood. We're just gonna snag wood right off there. And be super lame about it. I suppose I could get heat other ways now. I have the ability to make some fancy buildings. Because again, intermetallics. Planetary intermetallics. But I'm not going to. I will instead just split off some here. I believe it should be enough, right? I mean, maybe if the saplings are reaching down there. Maybe not, right? Anyway, here, use that to get you started. Anyway, so we need pressurized air. Pressurized, we need you. We need pressurized air. Pressurized air. This gets rid of pressurized air. This is kind of awkward putting it right here. I probably shouldn't. 
This is probably more thematic. Good. We will turn on the pump. Ah, all right, Let's look aside for a second. I'm going to need rubber. I had this thought for a second. Rubber needs polybutadiene, polydium as aromatics. All right, never mind. I thought maybe rubber was going to require a rogs, but it's not. I'm going to have to pipe down anthracene oil, though. Mm. Pumping you full of hot air. And you are going to output bricks, right? Let's face it, you're going to have to use two of these. And it's going to come down this way. And then we're going to go this way. No. No, I had it right. Now we're going to have to go this way. And it's going to be again two of these. Maybe even more. We'll find out. Okay. There. And we have some warm bricks to get us started with, right? You require working temperature? I don't know why you would require temperature. You are you are venting temperature. You should be taking the warm bricks and and uh, how to do this properly. No, definitely not like that. More like this. Is this enough? Oh, it probably doesn't work if I don't put the gravity arms. Oh, and I can't do this either. I have to do one of these. Alright. Be a cause. No, we can do this. We'll be fine. Or I could have done it up here. In fact, I'm going to do it up here. No, well, it's no real difference. This is where we pipe in the coke oven gas that is hot, and not the, the, the lukewarm coke oven gas. This requires a lot. That's probably a problem, right? Okay, good. Is this system working? Don't know. Is it consuming wood? Yes. Faster than it's being produced? Possibly. Um, you should have some more. It's probably enough for all this, right? I just kind of want saturation. Yeah? And then we want hot air straight out. All right, let's go get the, oh, and the, no, no, no. And then the, the colder gas comes out. So this is where the hot gas has to come in. I don't feel like I've accomplished a whole lot this session. But I do know that leaps. All right, so the hot gas has to come in here. Coal gas comes out of here. All right, we can do this. Shoo. Uh, we pick this up, we pick that up, no longer useful to me. And then this used to go south, but this doesn't go south anymore. So pick this up because its role has been uh, superseded by methane. Right, 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 right. This is correct, right? I'm not crazy, right? There's always been... Uh, okay. Right there. There. I clearly suffered to put this down, and now I suffer again as I rip it up. But it's important to clean up after ourselves. Because if you don't, get drowned. Alright. Good, good, good. We have purged one 
one sin of the past, and we proceed to commit several new and interesting sins. You know, try not to let it get boring. It's so right here, and this is the overflow for when we want to, when we have too much of this stuff. That is not the situation we find ourselves in right now. But we will, right? So let's go up. And we'll go right there. And I don't want to do this, but this is where I put the overflow valve right here. In fact, I'm going to put the overflow valve in right now. I'm not going to connect it because I want to keep this gas intact. So we're going to go get that out of the way. It's in my way. And like this, I suppose. Good, right? Good, ask. Good ish. And here's hoping I never need to expand the rock farm in a significant way. I did. I have just screwed myself over. All right, so there. We all have Coke oven gas, right? And it goes, no, turn around. Yeah, now we've got, we all got Coke oven gas except for you. Yeah, turn around. And we are waiting on temperature. Here, this is my gift to you. This is going to take some time, it looks like. Okay, I accept this. Um, but now we have to vent the, the slightly less warm Coke oven gas. See, we just, we've just absorbed the heat from it. We haven't actually ignited it or anything. Which I suppose is an interesting and weird property. Let's do this right. Classic. There, and that goes straight into here, right? And I guess we do this. There. Now the Coke oven pass goes in. We actually have some here. Not nearly enough. It needs hot air now. Okay, I'm on it. I'm on it. Kinda. Kinda on it. Where's the hot air line currently? Let's clean this up because our hot air is coming from a different direction now. Good. Clean, clean, clean. Have a clean base. Clean base, happy base. I wonder what this is. Why is this empty? It's aromatics. I gotta figure out what happened to that. Something happened to the aromatics. Oh, this has to come here, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's completely correct. And then we have storage for this just in case we need it. Then for my next trick. I get some of the hot air to come this way. This place is just lost, right? It's field down here. Lost logistics. Some of it will go up like this. And some of it will go down to here, right? And I am here, and I got to go over there. Got it. So, I now need to take a look at the temperature. This is still not going very well. There is a temperature gradient across here. I wonder if this will work. Why does this need to be hot to do this? I don't understand. But maybe I should stop trying. There's a lot that just doesn't make a lot of sense. So this hot air has got to go down that way. What else I have to do? Hot air. Hot air is made in the optical set. Now, I've got glass here. Where's the boron? 
right there. Maybe I should go right here and make the optical set. Mm. Mm. Uh, I do need to bring down molten glass. How is the molten glass situation? Oh, it's, there is no situation with molten glass. So, hot air should probably go out and down and around. That is, that is my judgment. That is what I should do. To do this properly, you must take the law away. It's not even starting yet. So down here, I've got this nice, oh, don't tell me, it is. Ah, so very sad. Anyway, I have to start training myself not to go through all the time because the correct answer is often not going through, going out and then to somewhere else. I swear I will make progress towards podgy science today. And keep going out, I suppose. Go out to the designated, and maybe even go between these. There, we have a hot air line in this way. Oh, this is going to be annoying to run over, that's for sure. So I kind of ruined my highway here, but whatever. go, here we go, down, 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 we'll get it all the way around, I'm not sure, okay, I am sure, I am sure that it's incorrect to have a huge line like this simply for hot air, but it is what I have in front of me at the moment, so this is what I do. Bedink, 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 bedink. Now I have to decide what line I need through this. And I think the line I will take is this one, right? Directly below circuitry. So, let's see if I can make this work, right? Oh, what a tangle. Hot air coming through, just as planned. Oh, this is not so great. gotten the hot air over to where we need it to be. Okay, and it's even down in the main bus right here. Okay, so now I need molten glass, which is to say, oh yeah, glass works. For which I need more iron, for which I need to be walking the other way. Good to know. Or I can just scrape it off the belt. Got some sort of primitive. Which is obviously exactly what I do. Alright, glass works. Give me one. I need a whole bunch of pipe. I should be making more set seedlings, I think. That should be the next thing I do. Um 
more underground pipe, more belt, more, more, more. How are we doing here? Oh yeah, we gotta put some more speed bumps out there. We have to enforce the limit. Gonna wreck some uh, suspensions. All right, now I have that. I have that. I have more belts. More belts, I say. More belts. Good. Good. Let's make a few more of these. Also good. All right, back we go. Is there any more southern molten glass except for this right here? No, that's latex. It just looks like molten glass. This is our southernmost molten glass. And as with everything else, I should pull it out all the way. I should not try to burrow my way through. That's just... There's, there's no good lines, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. So just do it properly. Go out all the way. Now, what's this? Oh. Ooh. Hmm. All right, we can redo this. Not quite yet. Now. <sighs> Thanks, boys. Doing me proud. Oh, wait a second. That did it bad. I did it bad. Um, well, maybe I reverse it. I do this. And then do this. Then it's okay, right? I just have to clean the belt, which I can do. Clean, 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 clean. Done. Throw the substrate in there. Throw the glassware in the out. We just, we just reversed it. See? Reversed it. And did a saucy little inversion. There we go. This way. Here. And we check on our temperature down here. Oh, it's actually working. So, yeah, you're still getting up to temperature, but you're still increasing, which is the important thing. Meanwhile, we are making hot air, right? What is holding us back? Is it speed of inserters? I got a solution for that. Speed of venting, speed of inserters. All right. So, yeah, now that's holding back is essentially speed of. Uh, of the ovens, and we we're short. We are short. So here we should fill one of these guys up. Here, just fill you up. No, wait. Don't do that. Don't do anything close to that. What kind of psychopath am I? Probably a much easier way to do this, but I'm unsure of it. Now, is this going to allow us to vent is the real problem. I think so. I also think we're consuming all of the uh, hot coal gas, or coke oven gas, excuse me. Um, so I may have to make more, which is okay, I guess. Yeah, we're short on, short on coke oven gas right now. 
So maybe I see to that sometime. What? What is this? How? And this is the hot stuff too. Have I clipped it? Yes, when I did that, I in fact clipped it. All right, acceptable. The fact that there is an explanation is all that matters. It was with a little bit of a story, I fix it. And then, boom, spring to life. Everyone go. Everyone works. Everyone's heating up those bricks. There's bricks waiting. Except right here, there aren't bricks waiting. That's kind of a problem, isn't it? Okay. This is the only way we know to make hot air. It's to use this one particular uh, gas. And if we don't happen to have that gas, well, hot air technology is simply beyond us. Uh, really, we suspect it is some sort of alien tech. The hot air, I mean. Um, once we have cracked the code, we will hopefully be able to do something with it. Okay. So that's working again. Is this full consumption here? Better be. So, am I happy? Oh, that's such a tough question. Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? How can I be a better me? Well, we can start by getting a little bit closer to Logi Science. I can pick all of this stuff up. These brave soldiers who fell here on this field. And then, for some reason, I did something, right? I got called off somehow. No, I'm not. Why am I following the hot air line when, in fact, I need to be fought, I'm making the molten glass line? <laughs> what am I doing? What's going on? How is every day yet another embarrassment? You would think I would run out of ways to be embarrassed, but no. No, actually, no, that's not how it goes. Uh, this goes the other way, honestly. I'm sneaking the glass out this way. All right, okay. How are we doing on the biomass? We got tons and tons of biomass. And this goes into a molten salt reactor, right? Which I have to pay attention to at some point. I have to make gearboxes and things. Um, that's all just hypothetical future crazy talk right now. So right now, I'm unsure if I should be intruding like this across this flat open field. I suppose if I really need the space, I can make room. We're gonna be right there, that's the molten glass line. There, crease. Fallen soldiers. Right here, here. I swear, I will get one step further to Logi Science by the end of this, but I'm also sure I am making this a little harder on myself than it needs to be. Grenade! Grenade! Getting a little excited here. Check my pollution cloud down here, because those aren't getting the saplings that they should. I have to do something about that. Okay, good. But yeah, aside from obviously making things harder on myself than they need to be, we're in a decent shape, right? Doing okay, right? There is no great shame in this, right? 
eventually there'll be some sort of train system, right? Probably won't even use it. Like belts too much. Okay, over here. Now, should I need glass anywhere along this belt, there shall be glass. Now, the big problem here is I've got a huge uh, bus line coming from the east and the west that intersects here, and the lines are most definitely not copacetic. Um, so, I'm probably just creating problems for myself. I say probably, uh, but I know for a fact this is creating problems for myself. And I will have to find a way to live with them. Look at this lovely tangle. It's glorious. Alright, so now we have to get the molten glass over there. So I guess we go up here. Let's keep following the belt. Right here. Not making a lot of tin. Possibly because I just had one primitive tin miner. There's going to be a huge amount of scaling up happening once I actually get... Uh... Hmm. Hmm. The first homology uh, science online. It's just so much room for optimization. Play session on play session of optimization. More scaling is probably a better way of putting it. Alright, so we have now molten glass here to be used however we want. Molten glass, of course, superior to any individual glass product because it can become anything. All right, so laboratory equipment. We need optical set right here. This is made in a glass works with boron. We're just going to assume we don't see that for the second. We are going to put the glass works right here. You are going to do this. You're going to make the good one. And we are going to sneak glass down here. No, do it properly. Yeah, like this. And we're going to need to, one, bring power down. Power we got. Power is methane, power, which is is important because I can control how much methane I produce in a given time. If I need more methane, I make more methane. Easy. I just scale up the moon uh, drops. But right now we're good. And so I have to come over here and pick a line for hot air. I declare this is the hot air line. <laughs> the hot air line. I'm surprised that isn't an actual business. So I didn't look at all, so it probably is. So now I have to pick a line for molten glass, and that will be beyond the horizon of everything right now. It's right there. Good. Uh, nope. Now over here, as always, trying to plan things so I can scale to the west for producing more of this if I need to. There. The final ingredient will be diborain. How fast is this? Quite fast. So, boop, boop. And this will be out to the north, a laboratory instrument. Small parts is easy to make. This goes to the north, right? This is this nice, easy small parts line right there that comes down through here. So, go south. Go north. No, go south. Everything goes south. And then this will come down right here, and this will come down right next to it. 
Yeah, that's correct. Okay, correct is a very, very loose term here. I'm sure you all understand. Um, it's not so much correct as in good or uh, what needs to happen or provable or consistent. It's, it's just what is going to happen. What is going to happen is by definition correct. Uh, I'm over producing on muddy sludge. There's a whole ecosystem there that I have to attend to. Let's go take a look at the Timmy line. Because I think we're jammed up on no oxygen, right? Because we don't have hydrogen. I kind of feel like I should use the hydrogen. I said gas furnace. This is something we need, right? Oh, I can just make one. Gas. No, this isn't what I want. It is nice, but isn't what I want. Um, this is the gas power station. Gas refinery. No. Oil. Oil refinery, right? No. Oil burner. Veteran steam boils when I was going to finish. Burns any flammable fluid, takes water, makes steam. Yes, give me one of these. Because I have to vent this. This is a flammable fluid, right? Hydrogen. I mean, it's a fluid by some definitions, right? Anyway, I believe. Anyway, further anyway, I need to get try boring over there. There is our triborane. We are going to bring it down, bring it over, right here to right there. <sighs> no, 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 no. Pick it up, pick it all up. Now, it's got to be right here, right? That is where I did wrong. Over here, put the triborane back. Good. Good. All right, so look around. Here we are, and we just want to go south. Yeah, into this and into over. So just goes right by the dirt when I declare. So glad there's no collisions on underground belts. All right, so here we are down here, and we want to come over here. Uh, the dive range will be here, I say. Why did I choose this? I don't know. So it goes right here, and then we want a line over like so. We split and we are almost at a goal and that will be the last thing for this session uh, right there good so now you have to come here so it will be best if it comes on top of this below it oh it's gonna it's gonna be very hard not to share a pipe. Anyway, just assume it's not going to happen, right? Did I pick the one I shouldn't have done? I really shouldn't have, but it causes me some complications. Nothing I can't figure out, though. I should be using a splitter right here be fully in line with the theme of everything I'm doing. Uh, as you can see, I did not put down a splitter, so you can see how dedicated I am to the theme of what I am doing. Timmy line's still going. It just takes a while to move the hydro. Oh, it's because I 
put so much room on this belt. All right, so mm, related rates again. Everything's fine for the moment, though. I don't need much boron trioxide, which means I'm not going to have a lot of hydrogen consumption, which means I need that oil burner, which I just put down, right? Where are you? Where'd it go? Right there. Oil burner. Alright, so here we are. One step closer. We have that, we have that. Laboratory instrument. Now we need now we need rubber and small parts. I'll probably do small parts next. Small parts will just go up here. Easy easy. And then we need rubber. And rubber is not so easy, but is possible. And then with laboratory instrument, laboratory, I can do cDNA. And with cDNA and plasmids, I can't I need zognum arteria. Ugh. CDNA, and then I can start making, um, well, a ROG, I guess. I had to do this before I did anything, eh? I didn't know that. All right, whatever. So I can do them both in parallel, I guess. I can make a cotton gut stug, uh, cotton gut stud. This is, wow, look at this. Is this serious? Is this really serious? Why does the laboratory instrument uh, instrument go away? <laughs> Am I just gonna set my my stir bar on fire or something? I mean, I wanted to do that before. Okay. Anyway, um, calm, calm was what I should be right now. Let's check the wood line and see if it's. Uh, coming through anymore. It doesn't look like it, does it? How is this getting power? I guess it's coming in pulses, and the pulses are enough. Oh my god, so many bullets. I'm s okay, first thing I do next session is set all that up. First thing I do on this session is try to establish the burner on the hydrogen line with an overflow valve. So let's go find the hydrogen line. Is there steam anywhere nearby? So I'm going to produce steam. Oh, it's consuming everything. But eventually it'll stop, right? Eventually, this is going to overwhelm everything, so I should pay attention, right? There's a steam line around here somewhere, right? So let's just take the oil burner. Now, let's wait until there's a problem, I guess. Because I want to see it working. I want to actually see how it works. What temperature steam does the oil producer burner produce? Where'd it go? It produces temperature at 250. So just normal steam. No fancy steam. Alright, that's fine. All this is fine. Um small parts, yeah? There's nothing more to do with that. I gotta get some of this stuff out of my inventory. Uh, let's go check Pi Science. As is protocol. Why are you stopped? No steam. Mm, not what I want to see. But this is just cranking. And the problem is the petri dish. The problem is we're not making these fast enough. This looks like most of them are working, but just most of them. And I can get molten salt working down here somewhere, right? OK. 
Okay, let's review. Molten salt. All right, molten salt, no. Uh, pressurized steam is hot molten salt uh, and pressurized water. It turns in as pressurized steam. So that's, that's awesome. And it's kind of fast, too, so that's good. So we want, that makes the molten salt. We want the hot molten salt. So we add molten salt into the biomass power plant, which we could probably just click on right now, right? Just right now. And that makes steam of sufficient temperature to fully use the um, pressurized heat exchanger, the, um, you know, the fancy turbine I can't use. I can't build because I don't have the proper uh, parts in place right now. Um, biomass power plant. No. Hot. Molten. The problem is, where am I going to get the salt? Just the molten salt. Oil power plant does it, the biomass power plant does it. And then and the heat exchanger. Where can I get just molten salt? Like, I gotta get salt. Alright, fine. You get that from salty rock. So, now saline water in an evaporator can make salt. All right, so I can get that anytime I want. Interesting how it's 23. It probably is meaning something, right? But it's all, it doesn't work unless I get the, uh, the biomass here. Allow me to help you seaweed. There we go. So that's working, that's working. I guess I had to do the cDNA for both orogs and cotton guts, which is a problem. But you know, I have so I'm feeling optimistic right now, strangely enough. I'm making forward progress every single time, and I have both enough buffer and enough firepower to hold them off for the moment. Uh, is next task seedling, I think? How is, how is seedlings? Uh, seedling. Like, it says that I'm continually making, well, not over 10 hours. Over the last hour, I am making more than I'm consuming. So let's go take a look at the very end of the line. But I'm pretty sure they're not doing anything. Ah, oh, so good to see this. I kind of just want this to be in my inventory just to just to cuddle with. Down here, you are completely not moving at all because of... Uh-oh. I got to be careful around here. Big worm. Um, so I need to make more... I do... One of these, three of these. Okay, I need. I'm gonna make a double. Um, queue up. What is necessary? I need ash and copper. How very weird. Just give me copper. And then just clean this ash belt, right? Don't need that wood. Okay, good. Now. Uh, why can't I find the thing to click on? A whole bunch of iron, so be it. Right there. Now I need three moss farms. One, two, three. There. And we'll pick a site somewhere where I just want to increase my presence. Like maybe over here. 
Let's make it way out. Or like way over here. Yeah, over here is better. Because of uh, the way the seedlings flow. Alright, so that'll be my plan for tomorrow. Make these seedling farms go. Increase that. That'll increase wood production. Uh, the logs coming down here are no problem. There's also tree seeds over here I can draw over. That's surprisingly important because I'm too lazy to set it up properly. So, yes, I don't feel I made huge progress. Why is the molten glass run out? Why is where did the molten glass go? Serious question. I thought I had a whole lot of molten glass. Soon, soon I will see to those cliffs. Like, what is the problem with molten glass right now? I love how science is just going just full blast. Good, 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 good. How that's going without any molten glass? I don't know. So right here, no molten glass. Uh, is there no methane to smelt it? What's this doing? Don't know, it's kind of me. Did I use all of the methane? That strikes me as something that might have happened. Um, yeah, these are chugging along. So things to do tomorrow, set up botanical gardens, go around setting up more uh, speed bumps. And then, this is just chugging along. There doesn't seem to be any problem here. Yeah. It's like, okay, it's kind of backing up, I suppose. But, there's no light oil here. That's kind of understandable. You're chugging along. Um, these guys are supposed to be on methane, and methane ain't here no more. So, that's almost certainly my fault, right? Alright, so, let's put some extra drain on the coal gas, because this is quite high. I'm assuming we're already on an overflow line for this. Oh no, it overflows and just is burned. So it's better it doesn't do that. Alright. Alright. I'm assuming I solved the problem here. If I didn't, um... Oh uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go hide under some coats or something. Anyway. This is going to be it for me. No, there's going to be one more thing I'm going to do. I'm going to go really look at these upgrades that are available to me. And then I will think about it, and tomorrow I will pick one. So, upgrades available, wood. Let's talk about this. This should be simple, right? Allow rocks to rest for several days in the sun, remove extra moisture, and provide fiber quality. So, 10 wood goes to 4 wood and biomass. It takes more time, though. Um... This is probably better, right? Yeah, it's just better all around, huh? And selective cutting, remove branches and excess bark during the cutting as preparation for reprocessing. The second seed of wood processing becomes much faster. So logs into wood, logs produce a little more, and it takes it's just instant. Um that's probably not so great. I mean, a little great, but not great. Use sticks, wood chips, and leaves as fuel and internal burner. The burner will generate part of the electricity consumed by the building. It will also create ashes as a byproduct. I'm not sure I enjoy this. So it requires a furnace. And then this recipe goes to... I really like this system. Oh, it just requires less ash overall. Yeah, 
Just, I need less ash. Um, but ash is kind of cheap and easy, right? So I suppose this one right here is the best, but probably the best by far, honestly. It's slower, but it produces more. So this is almost certainly the best. However, I'm not going to pick it since I'm not doing that right now. And this right now, whenever making things, it looks like this gives back a percentage of the samples you use. And over the long run, this will probably save me quite a bit, but it also, if I'm not manufacturing a critter, uh, it doesn't do anything at all. So, I don't know about that. Perfect samples. And then over here at Neural Fusion, this requires Arthurian Codexes to do... Um, speeding the longest in the process. So it probably works much faster, huh? It makes things faster. That that's not so bad. It'll oh, speed ten times faster. Look at that. It gives the Arthurian Codex and it's easy. And then instead we make better creatures. Speed and health increased by it. But it takes a lot more. I don't know, that's just a bunch of side grades, honestly. Um Yeah. Yeah, I'm done now. So, I don't feel I did a whole lot this time, as I repeat myself over and over. But I piped a whole bunch of stuff around. I made one more stuff on lab equipment. Let's take a look. Uh, pack. Let's see where we are on Logi Science Packs. Um, plasmids need laboratory instruments. So I'm, And then I have everything else except Zognobacteria, so we're almost at that. And then I have this, have that, and then I'll have this, essentially, almost. And then cotton guts are coming, and this, I don't know what that does. Not even going to look at it. Poor alien sample is ground sample, which is easy. And biological sample, which is not easy. I have a lot there I don't know what to do with. I'm not where I'm going to get. Animal sample whole bunch of stuff and some plasmids which again take laboratory equipment which again destroys the laboratory equipment I don't understand that at all but this seems like it's going to be very straightforward to make once I have the literal pieces to pull apart <laughs> it's like this isn't an animal sample look at all this this is an animal <laughs> I am I am using one whole animal to make that or a bunch of Um, and the battery, lead, antimony, I don't have you, but I can make you. And then I'm looking at battery. Lead, antimony, can make you. Melamine, I don't know what you, you I got, you I got, you I got, you I got, you I don't got. But it's methane and ammonia, and it comes from urea, essentially. Where does urea come from? Is it better I don't ask? Liquid manure. This is from Arogs, right? Manure. Yeah. This is from Arogs. Okay. Got it. And then I use that to make urea, and that makes all sorts of stuff. I'm going to need Zognum bacteria. This comes from... You know, anything, really. This isn't hard. It takes glass. It takes agar. Anyway, that should be easy enough. I should make a petri dish line. It's going to be going to need it for a lot of things, aren't I? Anyway, uh, last thing, melamine. And that's, again, from urea right here. It makes muddy sludge. <sighs> okay. All right. Rocks. We got a, a rock upgrade that we have to review. See how I said I was going to stop and I don't stop? Moss farm upgrade is really interesting. 
but it's a long way away. Oh, and I have to make fish. Fish farm has to be next, right? Okay, anyway, let's take a look at the Brock upgrade. What happens here? Fresh enough to reuse any wastewater produced by his native creatures. They will be drinking the same barrel of water for the rest of their life. <laughs> so it removes the water barrel requirement. That's that definitely is not terrible. Even from the uh, it removes the barrel requirement. That's that's got something to say for that. Just simplification. Uh, turning the lights off during the night brings those rocks more comfort. You also save energy in these buildings, allow those rocks to be more productive in the morning. Expecting the rocks sleeping faster and will reduce speed. So, Brock Paddock. What's it add? Nothing. But it makes lamps. So that's, this represents pulling the lamps out, I guess. And this is... Oh, it moves... Oh, no. Oh, no. Extra productivity is okay, but but this, this extra... Sp less speed? No. Not on something so slow. And Brock Biology naturally produces formic acid in the bloodstream. It uses this chemical to break down the molecular structure of cyanic waste compounds into its constituents. I get Wohler synthesis recipe. Cyanic acid, hydrogen, formic acid to make ammonia and carbon dioxide. This seems like it's probably a really good idea, right? Like, this seems really strong. This recipe probably helps a lot. Over the very long term, like, the, the water barrels are fine. It's not a hard problem to solve. Um, and this is no, so we're probably going to go for this, right? Like, it's, it's inconvenient to, to have to make the water barrels, but it's not hard. So, yes, we'll go with this. Select. I will actually pick done. All right, I made a selection. Wohler synthesis. Let's take a look at am ammonia. Ammonia. Wohler synthesis. So this cyanic acid. If I have some cyanic acid, I can make a ton of ammonia, which is almost certainly exactly what I want to do, right? Because I need, well, maybe it's a good idea. Maybe I just picked the wrong thing, and I never, I'll never ever use that ever. So I picked just totally wrong again. But anyway, I'm not gonna think about it. All right, done now. Doing good, feeling good. Uh, gonna make it. We're all gonna make it. Bye, everybody. Bye now. Blah, 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 blah.